guys, so we are now in Goa. Um, Chris just paid the ticket. It's a 3.5 hour cruise. Cruise. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty cheap actually. It's for three and a half hours. They give you lunch as well. Mm -hmm. So that's like meat and cheese platter. Yeah. Uh, I'll show it later. Cheese coffees for later on. Yeah. And Afternoon tea. Yeah. And, and how much did you um, pay? So it's 98 or 99 per person. So yeah. for 200 bucks, it's, yeah. it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It really is. Um, we're just going to have a coffee and shake. And then in 30 minutes, we're going to come back. Yeah. It's a cool spot to get food or drinks. And this is the view. Lovely view. Amigo toasty and Chris got. Mm. Something that I don't know. What is it? Sure. Godfather. <laughs> Godfather, huh? Mine's probably spicy. Mm. Is the boat. Oh yeah, this is the one I was looking at. It's shot. Hector's cafe. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the spirit of Kurong. This is the boat. Oh, there's a toilet, no? Here. Yeah. And uh, we'll be looking after Jeremy our cruise today. Uh, we're leaving the wharf very shortly. We'll serve lunch virtually straight away. You've got a little table that folds down in front of you. You might have found that already. Just undo the clip first. Very Yay. important. And um, we'll serve lunch as we travel upstream initially and uh, have a look around the historical port of Gore before we come back past the wharf. Down to the Gore barrage and lock chamber by 1.30 because the lock master's having his lunch as well. <laughs> and it's no good getting there too early because he won't uh, stop for uh, having lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, 1.30 through the lock and we'll continue our journey then through into the beautiful Kurong, past the Murray Mouth, etc. We'll tell you all about it as we go. Just a few things about the boat before we leave. We are off to where we're going now. Down to Kurong. You're gonna enjoy it because you're not driving the boat. You're just <laughs> like <I>? chilling, <laughs> chilling for now. Yeah. Okay, folks, just uh, between Gore and Hamash Island, they in fact spent more money arguing about this bridge than they did building it. But uh, it's there now, and of course, uh, replaces the ferry service that operated just adjacent. Uh, you can see the woodwork, the painting fence structure there, which was uh, where the ferry used to run. Officially from uh, the 1850s. It was the only ferry during the 1956 floods, however, not to be out of service during the big flooding of the river. Uh, all the other ferries in the, in the system had to stop because of the high river levels. For example, Madam is known as Amelia Park, named after Amelia Shetliff, who was the first European girl born at Gulwell. Her father Samuel came from Scotland, and uh, had a bit to see his Pope and Jenny work. There's the remains of an old barge. Thank you. The jetty's been built around it. This end is the stern post. You can see Meats, a bit heavier post in there, perhaps. So right salad. on our left there now. Oh, the pelicans there. But this wasn't suitable. See the flag flying oh, the, behind the pelicans cute. up there? That's uh, Little Scotland. You can see the, some of the cottages there between the bushes. Yeah. Look quickly. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's typical Scottish ah, cottages. Uh, okay. Front door opens out onto the footpath. And that's where most of them lived, up there, the early settlers. Scottish. Big huh? house was owned by a politician, William Young Husband, member of Leg Legislative Council. This Wait, great boat is there where, is a boat with boat, round porthole windows. That that's was the one the they used more recently. Sure which one? One of those was when they Kepri used Rush in Storm Boy. Built, uh, that's a movie, Ooh. Australian movie. Star, yeah, Interesting. So did they shoot him, probably? Yeah. Ooh. So both the Storm Boy boats are there. Oh, get Ooh, both Storm of them in a minute. Boy boats. Uh, just behind that. Interesting. Boat. Yeah. Okay. I think the gate might be. Yeah, here it is. Tiny little lock there. See the three gates that are open? You can see through the barrage. 
there's a good strong flow through there. The water on the other side is lower, which is sea level. Mm. It's slowly coming up to as the tide rises. We are going up. In the, uh, in the frames of this lead-in on the other left, in particular, you might, might see a ceiling there. Wait, um, we're up, up, up. Where, 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 where? Hi! Oh, That's so cute! Hi! <laughs> Too cute! Oh, what's that there, love? So they're just gonna wait, we're just gonna yeah. wait to be open. So it'll, it'll shut the back part. See the back now? Yeah. Look at that. it's closing back. Ah. Why does it always have to be closed though? It's, I think it's sort of equalizing the water. So oh yeah, it's closing it's, now. The position's gotta go out and it can't just drop off. Mm. I've never been across this. That's cool. Look, hand. Why are they there? They're just like playing. Well, they're getting the, the bait that goes in the water. Oh, bait. So that's bringing all fish and stuff through and they, they do often get bait. Oh, interesting, huh? So the, the gate's almost the box closed. And open a valve in front on our left from the locked wall. So the mark is about the same as I this one. So uh, a few sandbars and shallows. Pretty interesting shows. seeing them up here. This process. Pelican. <laughs> When they start bobbing, you know they're onto a school of fish. They can't dive underwater fully, they can't dive from the air. Just swim around like that, the fish. The only way of getting the fish is to. Tiny little birds at the water's edge behind the black swans. Right out there, they are migratory birds, and there should be a lot more. It should be just a mass and just a carpet of them at the water's edge.
having a little sniff of the rain now. Uh, eight metres, nine metres here, not just 50 metres in water. And this is not taken in any of this. So there's no rocky in the at all. until now you actually get emus down here mm. you fling that camera around so she emus on I think the, the sun is like right at the camera on yeah this this uh, pipe is connected to the bridge in front on our left this is uh, So we are now at the Kurong National Park. We're going to go down and walk around. Attraction those years. So far, 
Actually, no, you can get. Oh, the shells. Yeah, I think It's like the sea creature version of a dreadlock. onto the other side like the like the Kurong National Beach. Park. Kurong National Park. Kurong, pulled up at a place called Barkanol, gone over the Young Hudson Peninsula to the um, to the coast there. So I haven't done that at this spot for probably 12, 15 years since I had my first boat. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, it's cool. We'll come back here with his boat. We'll take his parents. Three, oh, one, Hmm? For Charlie Godfrey, who was a part Aboriginal. And uh, he was the pioneer of the modern day. Journey, where are you heading? Thank you. Thank Just watch you. the step too when you come out. Cheers.